Uh, again, this is Pastor Jeff from Community Covenant Church with a few minutes of encouragement from God's Word on this Tuesday. We're looking at different scripture passages that uh, have the common theme of belief. What do we believe and what does that mean to believe? And how does belief impact our relationship with God? Um, today, I'm looking at the book of 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 10. Paul's writing this to his protege, Timothy, who is uh, serving a church, and uh, he wants to encourage him and help him along. And he says in 1 Timothy 4.10, in the midst of this conversation that he's having, he says, This is why we work hard and continue to struggle. For our hope is in the living God who is the Savior of all people, and particularly of all believers. Think about this. God is the Savior of all people. But he's the Savior particularly of those who believe and have received his gift. Now, here's the difference. God has offered this free gift of salvation, this free gift of forgiveness and new life. It is sitting out there for everyone. There is no one who is excluded from being um, eligible to receive it. But until you do, until you admit your need, until you come to God and say, I would like your gift of salvation. I want to receive you. I want to get your forgiveness in my life. I want a new life. I want you to be the center and I want to give my life in total to you. I will follow you as my Lord and Savior from this point on. Until you take that step and receive it and move into that new life, it's just hanging out there. It's sitting out there like an unwrapped present sitting on the table. But that doesn't change that God is the Savior of every single person in the world. But it only is true in a real, life-changing way for those who believe and receive. The Passion Translate puts, Translation puts it this way. For the sake of this ministry, we toil tirelessly and are criticized continually simply because our hope is in the living God. He is the wonderful life giver of all the children of men, and even more so to those who believe. So you see, this good news is sitting there. It is available. It is right there for everyone. He is the Savior and offers this to everyone. But it's those who actually believe who experience the real change. I hope that includes you. Let's pray. Jesus, we thank you for your love. We thank you for this free gift of salvation and forgiveness and a new life and hope and purpose that is in you as we follow you with all of our heart. But God, we also want to pray for those who have not made that choice, that they would recognize the incredible value and blessing that is waiting to be received and experienced for them in their life. You are the Savior of the entire world, even those who don't believe in you, and yet can only experience it if they actually receive. So we pray that they would. And God, we pray that those of us who have chosen to follow you, to give our lives to you, we would do that with more completeness and experience the power and the life change all the more as we give all that we are to you and follow you faithfully, doing what you ask us to do in the power that you enable us to do it as your representatives and on your mission in this world. And we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. So once again, 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 10 says, This is why we work hard and continue to struggle, for our hope is in the living God, who is the Savior of all people, and particularly for all believers. I hope you're experiencing the reality of that Savior today. God bless and have a great day. Bye-bye.